everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimberly. This is Viva Verduras, and today we are gonna make a delicious almond queso fresco. When I tell you that sometimes I hardly could tell the difference, okay, I lied, I could tell the difference, but it is actually a really, 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 really good substitute for queso fresco. If you wanna learn this easy recipe, let's get started. So the main ingredient is going to be almonds, which I have soaking in water. I had these soaking overnight, but you could soak them for a couple of hours. So the ingredient agar agar, so this is what it looks like, this is the packaging. So basically what agar agar is, it is a vegan gelatin substitute. Gelatin contains, I'm not for certain, but I know it has something to do with like the grounded powder of like gelatin. Is a translucent, colorless, flavorless food ingredient commonly derived from collagen taken from animal body parts. Okay, so the main thing is the collagen taken from animal body parts. How does one decide that they want to make gelatin from animal body parts? I don't know, don't ask me. But instead of using that, we are going to be using agar agar, which is a vegetable gelatin substitute with high gelling properties, a supplement for an efficient diet. So this is going to be the key ingredient. I'm going to be honest, I've tried to find substitutes before. Nothing works outside of this. So. If you find anything else that works, let me know, but I couldn't find anything outside of this. And I ordered this off Amazon. It was like seven bucks, I think. Okay, so here I have my almonds that are sitting in water. Dump the water. And what you want is you want this, wow, that shot all the way over there. <laughs> Separate the skin from the almond itself. Now that we've stripped our almonds, we're gonna add some ingredients to a food processor. Let's add my almonds. A teaspoon of nutritional yeast, a tablespoon of salt, whoops, one large garlic clove or two small ones, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, two teaspoons of lemon juice. So I've got a half a cup of water in here, but I'm going to gradually put the water in. The reason I do that is because I don't want it to get too runny. I, I really want it to be like a paste. So I just added a little bit in there. I'm going to pulse it for a little bit and I'm gonna show you the desired texture that we want these, this, the mix. Okay, so this is after I pulsed it. So as you can see, it's still just a little bit too chunky. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Let's go ahead and scrape the sides down so you get an even coat. This is the perfect texture that we want. So it, it almost looks like curdled cheese. So again, we don't want it too runny because we are gonna put a um, the gelatin mixture in here. So it's gonna add a little bit more liquid to it, but this is exactly what we want. I used, I wanna say about a fourth of the water. So go ahead and put this in a bowl and set it aside. We are gonna make our gelatin mixture next. So you're gonna need a medium size or small pot, and we are gonna use one cup of water, one teaspoon of the agar agar mixture, and one tablespoon of cornstarch. So what you're gonna do is add all ingredients to a pot over a medium to high heat, and you're gonna whisk the ingredients together for five to seven minutes nonstop. So you ultimately wanna get like a jelly, gooey-like mixture. Um, but it's important that you don't step away from the pot, that you continue mixing at all times, otherwise you will burn it or it will clump. Now we're gonna add this mixture into our almond paste. So just whisk it in a little. Okay, so the next step is we are gonna add it to our bowl. Uh, I recommend using a cheese strainer, not because it's needed for anything in particular, but it's gonna hold the whole mound together like a little mountain, and it makes it more cheese-like. And then just pour your mixture to here. Like I said, it's just gonna help it with its mold. and then cover it like so. I used a lot, so probably just unnecessary the amount I had. It's like I have more cloth than cheese. Just pop this in the refrigerator for 24 hours, and that's it. So go ahead and pop this in the fridge for 24 hours. I will see you tomorrow, 
and we are gonna try it on some delicious food. I don't know what I'm gonna make yet, but we're gonna put it on top of something and I'm gonna do the best part, which is the taste try. All right guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so it is now the next day. We've waited 24 luxurious hours for this moment. I have taken out our almond queso fresco from the refrigerator. Unwrap it in front of the camera for you. This cheesecloth. You see that? It's nice and firm. Can you see that? I'm just gonna do this. and just peel it back. Look at how beautiful that is. Do you see that? It's so beautiful. And it smells delicious, actually. And let me show you how it crumbles. So look at that, like regular queso fresco. Sorry, I'm like a mess right now. <laughs> Let's try a piece. Mm. I made some tacos. I'm just gonna crumple some on here and do like an actual taste test. So, I like my almond queso fresco on everything. The pan. All right, I'm gonna take a bite. It's so creamy. Mm, give it a week, max two weeks to store. You could put out anything. I literally put it in like a Tupperware and just pull it out anytime that I need to use it. Really convenient, really easy, super, super delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It will genuinely help me a lot. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Bye.